Okay, so with this one, what I've done is just put a little bit of a blue background on here because I'm going to teach you another kind of flower. So I just want the blue background. So I'm going to um, put a band of purple on the center of my iron with yellow on the top. And then right at the tip, white. So that's what your iron looks like. And what you do is you just place it down flat on your paper and drag it. And that's the leaf that you get. So let's do that again with the purple and the yellow. in the white. Is that? Lay it down flat and drag it away very quickly. Let's do it one more time and do a third. So the band is the same. You want three colors with the white bean at the tip, for sure. Okay, let's see what it looks like. I'm going to place it on top of here. And I'm going to do one more in the front. Oh, actually, before I do that, I'm going to take my styles. are going to be the stamen that are inside the flower. Okay, we're going to do one more leaf in the front here. The beautiful thing about encaustic painting is you can build up colors on top of other colors. And this is an example of what this looks like on a black canvas. It's beautiful with the black background as well. Um, this same te technique would have been used for this little canvas. So I'm going to do my fourth in the front. I'm just giving it a little drag. And there we have A little sack of pollen on top of each stamen. Now you have a nice little painting with the dragging technique. On a black background or just a white background, um, you can see a little bit of the blue has shown through from the background on this, which I think makes it very nice. So that's another technique for doing big petals. And you can see it's very different when it's done on canvas and when it's done on paper. But both options are very nice.